Gary Criswell, we're here at, yes, Ed Carpus Field down at Thomas Dale, where tonight the Knights beat Cosby 13 to 7 in what was a very tough defensive struggle, but the Knights defense made all the plays and Thomas Dale's in the Division 6 Final Four. At this point, it's all about advancing, and Thomas Dale advanced. They made enough plays on offense, they kicked the ball well, they took care of the football. Especially, in, you know, they had some uncontested errors that they they definitely need to clean up. But it was it was enough to win. They certainly were in control of the game the entire time. They just could not take any opportunity that they got from the second quarter on, on to put a second score on that deficit. So it ended up being a one touchdown game. Cosby, what a great run after starting 0-3, winning 8 of 9. The season ends in week 13, but Pete Metastic can be very proud of this of this bunch. Yeah, they play really, really good defense. I thought they had an answer for just about everything except an occasional long run by Dale, and they were a little bit susceptible to throws over the top. But their defense was well prepared, and Kevin Tucker talked about their front three defensive linemen did an excellent job, and I noticed that too. And they had some special schemes a couple of times to catch them with, uh, you know, blocking down with wide receivers and slots, try to take, so, you know, some of the steam out of those defensive tackles. And they just, and they just kept coming. And, and, that, was, and that disrupted, disrupted it. The uh, Thomas Dale offense kept them off stride, kept them off balance. And neither team could really sustain a drive. Uh, I saw a lot of life in what they were trying, what Cosby was trying to do. They did a lot of scheming. They tried to get Dale into certain formations and, and things and just Dale just reacted so quickly to the football so it was a great team effort on defense and it was basically in this day and time a very defensive oriented game. Thomas Dale has plenty to work on between now and next week you can hear in our Kevin Tucker interview if you heard it on the broadcast you can see it on the blog uh, Kevin Tucker knows that they got some things to clean up offensively but they've got a crack at Oscar Smith next Saturday, reminiscent of the semifinal in 2009. And, and it's the same as it was then. All you want is a chance. All you want to do is, is line up and give it your best shot. And the ball may not bounce your way or it could bounce your way. You know, nobody got a, nobody got a great bounce today between Cosby and T Thomas Dale. You can come away from that game feeling like the best team won. That both teams had opportunities, but the best team won. In in the state, when you go into the state and you're traveling outside your area, you you've got to get up to game speed really quickly, and you've got to make the most of your opportunities. And the and the and the last time the Dale team to meet Oscar Smith certainly did that. Great season for the Hanover Hawks into tonight with a loss to Lake Taylor. Yeah, they they showed some life in the second half, and uh, I had a couple of observers text me. And they said they were they looked really rough at first, and they they were kind of without a plan. And it looked like from the reports we got that they they in the second in the third and fourth quarter they moved the ball at will, uh, created a couple of uh, changes of possessions with onside kicks, made it made it close. But Lake Taylor's a tough out, and um, again, anytime you win nine ten games and you spend a lot of time in the Capital District, you had a good season. So next week we'll have Thomas Dale playing. We'll have the winner of Hermitage Highland Springs playing. And maybe Hopewell. Hopewell plays James Monroe tomorrow. And, of course, the Hermitage Highland Springs game. Yeah, and uh, it's, it was cool to, to hear Kevin Tucker say he's going to go over and watch Ricky Irby and, and the Hopewell Blue Devils tomorrow. And good luck to them. And and I uh, want to say hello, hello to Marshall Parker. And I hope they, have, they put on a good show down there. And uh, who knows? We may be broadcasting from Marner Field before it's all over. Before it's all said and done. But the bottom line is, hope well tomorrow. Great chance against James Monroe and the showdown between Hermitage and Highland Springs. We got you covered all season long. High school football on Fox Sports 910, foxsports910.com, iHeartRadio, 96.1 The Planet tonight. We thank them. Thank Alan Fisher for being our cameraman all year. He's Gary Criswell, and I'm Gary Hess.